have just learned about the basic of how to do the simple HTML, how to drop in pictures and stuff. So let's learn about this thing called tables in HTML, which table was actually used a lot and actually utilized and even use it in the way that it's not really supposed to use, but it actually helped and actually lived through at least the first part of the 10 years of how we actually did our HTML. Let's create a new document. Okay, we're gonna get this and click um, tables, lesson 1B. And tables. So I'll use some samples to create these tables. So the simplest way actually to learn table, okay, we're gonna make some space in the body here so that we can actually drop in a table. For thank goodness for Dreamweaver, we can, that's actually a simpler way to drop a table. So by simply using this insert table, and you give us this um, smart panel that asks us how many rows we need and how many columns we need. I want to create a table with say five rows and then with um, four columns. All right, and I want to leave it to 960 width, not too big. Okay, and this border thickness is the thickness between each um, cell of the table. And the cell actually have this space. Cell padding is actually the space in between your content inside the cell, and then the wall at the edge of the individual cell. So that's called cell padding. We want to leave it at say 20. And cell spacing is actually the space in between cell. Let's put at five first. We can actually change this later. So once we have this thing set up, simply click OK. So it will generate us this chunk of stuff. Okay, and quickly save first. I'll save to my desktop. I call it lesson 1B. And let's preview it. That's my lesson 1B. Here it is. So with lesson 1B, preview it. Here's my table. Okay, 960 width in total. One, two, three, four. Four columns and five rows. One, two, three, four, five. So here's how it is. Table with a width of 960. One pixel, um, the border equals to one. Okay, and then after that, you have this cell spacing five, and then you have this cell padding 20, which is inside. Five is actually in between all this. You notice that this thickness is actually five. And then 20 is, we can't see it now, okay? 20 is actually in between the content and then the edge. That's 20. So let's drop in stuff first. Imagine I have this list item. It's actually a list of um, some statement. It's a mock statement. Say first one is actually a number. Second one is actually description. Third one is actually the quantity. And the fourth one is the price. Okay, quantity maybe I just put a short form QTY. Have this save and refresh. So this is the number, description, quantity, and price. Let's go in and drop in stuff. So what's this NBSP thing? And we start with this N% and then with this semicolon. NBSP stand for non-breaking space. Okay, it's a special character that you want to force a HTML to give you a space. But if you put in space like that, HTML not going to bother about you and it's not going to give you much space. So if you put in an NBSP, this space, and you put in a lot, okay, it has to listen to you and then give you this much space. So it has to force this thing out and give you this much space. So it's actually a good thing to use a, what we call a fake space. So this one, okay, for body, this is actually first row. So first row, you have this four cell, the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. So this is the first, second, third, and fourth. That's how it works. So one row, second row, third row, and fourth row, and the last one is fifth row. So let's fill in stuff so that we can see it. So this is the first, which is actually the second row. And then say I want to drop in the picture of this t-shirt. So I have, let's make some space first so that we can drop in pictures. Put in the title first. Okay, the title of this is a pullover. I want to drop the picture. IMGSRC equals to this picture. And let's set the width so that it doesn't blow out our whole page. To 250. And close it. And then quantity. This will be the third cell, which is the quantity. Say I want to buy two of this. 
So since it's champion pullover, it should be pretty expensive. And let's put it at um, one should be at 69. So two should be at 138. Refresh. So I get this one, this one, and then this. I think we need to drop a break so that it doesn't show like this. So let's put a break here. So I have this text, this break, and this. So HTML table cell actually works in, everything will be vertically centered by default. Um, for table to work, we can actually manipulate it by using some simple attribute. Okay, for it to align top, it's actually V align equals to top. So let's save and see. So one goes to the top. This one is actually align center. So let's might as well just drop in all the cell. So that's for one cell, two cell, three and fourth cell. Refresh. So now everything aligned to the top and left by default. Okay, let's go in and fill in the rest first, then we can see what we can play with it. So of course, I want it to be all of it. Then the quickest way is actually to simply copy and paste, copy this and duplicate. So by replacing this next two cell, because I want to do another two. So replace and replace. So I have first, I have this second, which is the second, and I have this third, which is the third. So this quantity, this one is actually, um, Uncle La Copy Champion T-shirt T-shirt instead. So this one is this image, and I want to give it to my friend. I want to buy five of it, which each one is thirty nine dollars. Which is um, I pull out a calculator. Thirty nine times five equals to one nine five. So it's 195. Okay, the third one is actually uh, my brand t-shirt. So Uncle Tissue Champion T-shirt. Yeah, they are actually real champion t-shirt. Yeah, you can actually grab them if you want to support me. So this should be PNG. I say I just want one of it, which is about I think it's 39 if I'm not mistaken. So save and refresh. So now I get this, my laughing scar, which is the artwork that I did for cycling. And this is Uncle Lakopi champion t-shirt. And this is Uncle Tissue champion t-shirt. So that's how actually you use table for. Table is actually supposed to be for things like this. Then where is this attribute? Let's go back to this attribute and see. This 20 is actually this in between here. Whatever that content that you have here, you notice that there's always this gap to the edge, that's 20. You can change this, you can change to 10. You notice that everything will shrink and change to 10. Five, this is actually five, cell spacing five. This is in between all these are five. I can simply change to one. So now it becomes thin, one. Or I can turn off the border by putting zero. And now the border disappeared, but the layout is still there. Okay, let's put it on because we need the border. Okay, we can further um, change the attribute of how the table behave. For example, this index number, it doesn't need to be so big, right? Index number can be small. So TD for this table cell also take in this width. Okay, say 50, 50 will do. Okay, still too big, let's say 30. Yeah, about there. So you notice that there's this um, basic um, manipulation that you can use to actually play with this. So let's say the picture are smaller at 150, 150, and 150 each. So we can see our whole table inside one page. Then we, this one, we want to leave it because we want to give the bigger space for the description and the picture. So the quantity, we can actually fix it to um, 30 as well, since it's very small. And the price, last one. Price does not need to be so big also. So say 100 will do. Save and refresh. So that's how we can actually lock it. And then we leave this one of the cell as untouched. So by default, this one will take whatever space that is left. The space actually will include all this width for your borders. Then your HTML will actually calculate it for you. So let's fill in the last part so that we can have the total. So this one description, we want to put um, total. 
So the last one, the pricing will be, again, pull out my calculator. So we have 139, no, 138, plus 195, plus 39. So 372, so $372 in total. To, for, there are actually certain attributes you can play with for table. For example, you can drop in the table color, the background color for table, just like body. Okay, you use BG color equals to color picker. Okay, let me pick a uh, light this color. Save and refresh. So now my whole table is this. Another beauty of this table is because individual cell, you can actually manipulate it. You can put in um, color as well. So let's say this BG color for this. Okay, is this orange or this mustard yellow color. Let's say I want this. Make sure the contrast is there. Copy and refresh this. No, I haven't saved. Let's save and refresh. So you notice that this cell is actually in this color. Of course, you want the whole row to be in this color. So I will simply put it in here. Put it in the third and put it in the fourth. So one, two, three, four, all with this background color. So the, it also makes sense the last row to have maybe some somewhat similar to that color. So let's go back to the last one and then add in this. Of course, I want to change this color to something else. Slightly darker shade of the blue. So I'll simply remove the previous one. Let's see what the color turns out to be. Yeah, okay, darker blue. Copy and paste and paste and paste. So my whole row below will become another color. Not just color, you can actually change the, put in the background picture also. So let's put in background picture. So it becomes that background. But again, same thing, take, take note that you want to use, choose a background that you can actually read and the contrast is actually there for you. Okay, so you can drop in background for this. You can also drop in background for the stable cell as well. So I'm just going to show you with one example, say this one, I'm just going to put, drop in the background for this and let me choose another pictures. So now this cell will with a separate different pictures. Because of this, we actually use tables to do layout for the HTML for almost um, a good 10 years before CSS actually kick in. So I hope that you learn something and you get um, the idea of how table actually works. And we covered the basic tagging and we covered the basic structure of how HTML works. And then we also covered the attributes like color, size, and the alignment, basic alignment of how you want to align the text. You can also explore, there's actually a lot more of this attribute and text, which I, I don't cover everything. Um, the important part for this basic HTML is to bring you onto the track so that you can actually explore a lot more um, using the web resources around. Now you finally understand how this thing works. I hope you actually benefit from my, these basic lessons. And if you like my video, please click like and subscribe to Uncle Teach You channel. Your support is my main motivation of making all these videos. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.